hello everyone so today i am come up with a, a new use case and that use case is related to the calculated values uh, in the service now so if you can see here one field as a latest comment slash work note so what i wanted to achieve is that i just wanted to fetch the uh, latest comment or the work note whichever is the latest from the activity stream from from here from the activity stream into this uh, field but that needs to be achieved using the calculated value using the functionality as the calculated values from the uh, uh, from the activity stream so first of all we need to understand what exactly the calculated values is. so the calculated values are nothing but the values which is derived from the one or the many fields or it is the calculated based on certain kind of the formulas or we can say it the uh, static values as well for an example if you open any sys user table then from that table you can see there are the first name or the last name of the two fields and there is one more field as a name so that name field uh, shows us the first name and the last name combinedly as the full name so that full name is calculated based on the calculated value that uh, that name field is nothing but the calculated values which are uh, fetching the name and the last uh, first name and the last name from these two fields and displaying into the uh, name field as a full name so we are going to do the same thing and we will uh, fetch the comments or the work notes from this this journal field table and we will show here so in order to do that we just need to go to the configure dictionary And from the configure dictionary, you can see here advanced view under related links. So if the advanced view option is not visible to you, that means you are already in the advanced view. Just click on that. And the scroll down, you can see here one tab as a calculated values. Just click on that and then check this calculated checkbox. And you can see here calculated type as a script and formula so keep that as a script because we just need to glide the table and then fetch the work note or the comments whichever is the latest from that table so in order to do that first of all we just need to go to the table which stores the uh, work note or the comments so just go to the sys underscore journal underscore field dot list just enter it underscore journal underscore field dot list Opening that. Meanwhile, we will go to the again dictionary of this field. Okay. And then advanced view. Okay. So from here you can see that the element stores either the value as the work underscore the notes or the comments. So we just need to fetch these two elements. So we are applying filter here as element it's work underscore notes or element it's comments and then run it so we will get all this list so just come to this previous tab in the dictionary click on the calculated and then we are going to glide that table so where dr is equal to new record uh, okay so there is one shortcut in uh, in order to glide the table as var gr and enter the tab so you will get the syntax for this no need to type or each and everything and then just 
write down the name of the table c underscore journal underscore field after that just here after that just gr dot add encoded query and then copy this query from here copy to clipboard ok and paste it here after that in the gr dot add query so now if you see here this element id stores the uh, record id so we want the comments of the work notes for that particular record only we don't want for the other records so we just need to add here one more query as the so the backend name for that for this element id is element underscore id you can check it from the table configuration so it is the element underscore id and we just need to pass from here as a current underscore current dot this underscore id dot string okay now we want the latest one for that we just need to sort uh, we just need to order it for that gr dot order by BESC in the descending order on the basis of this underscore created underscore on and then to that if we get it so now we are using the if because we want only one record we don't want the uh, more than one records so we are going with if and if we are getting the records then we are, we are going to return gr dot value dot to string why i am returning here value because if you see here in this table the value stores either, either it is a work note or either it is a comment so we want to return that so I'm just saving this record. Now just go to the incident table again. And open this record. Now the one more interesting thing about the uh, calculated values is once we check that checkbox as the calculated value then that field uh, gets the read only because now this is the calculated value so we can't say the manually uh, that field value that is calculated based on the formula which we have provided at the script section so it is just the read only so if we scroll down we can see that here uh, in the activity there is no access comments or the work not specified so what we can do is uh, we, uh, i just mentioned here one comment as this is comment for testing and i am just posting it so you can see it is visible in the activities if you refresh this page yeah you can see that comment this is the com comment for testing now we will check for the work notes as well whether we are getting the latest work note or only the comments so now i'm i will just stick this checkbox for the work note and then Type in here work notes and this is work, work note for testing and 
and then post you can see here work note this is the work note for testing okay it is appearing here work note this is work note for the testing you can see that without even refreshing so whatever this is comment for testing okay let me refresh one more time okay this is the work note for testing you can see that so it takes some time one or two seconds but yeah that is visible here so we can use this calculated uh, value functionality uh, in in that way either by providing the scripting either by providing the formula either by gliding the record and getting the values from there and putting it here so that is all about the calculated values thank you so much